What's up? Hey, let's check in a Kubi. A Kubi. I don't think my camera's right. There we go. All right. You get to hang out while I make adjustments. How about that? Kube. Pretty good spinner. I always like a spinner. Okay. So, yeah. I bought this. I bought this on eBay. Uh, new. But the seller said that they open them to inspect them and take photos. Which they did have photos on their site. So... Let's see if we think it's new. Let's get it out of here. We don't need that box. Okay. I believe this is the carve, but I'll I'll definitely um, confirm that. And it it's already in the video, so you know whether it is or it isn't. But it's in S30B. How about that? Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, wonderful action on this thing. wonder if that's locked up tight. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man, is that nice. And this camo, I have another Kubi that is in S30V. Um, the Drake. The Drake's a funny model. It's got... A couple of different, very different models, but they're all called the Drake. It's kind of interesting. But this has the same camo, digital camo pattern. Oh, excuse me. And the G10, grippy. Same, I don't know, like a bead blast, stonewashed, satin finish. It's almost like it's got a coating on it, I guess. Matches the pocket clip. The liners are going to be sandblasted along the edge to match, I think. Although the liners on this knife are nested. Whereas I think that they're more shadow boxed on the other. Um, so very, very similar. And then they're both in S30V. Yeah. Hey man, let's get in it. The action is just stunning. We're just going to... Wipe it down, disassemble it, check it in, make sure everything's clean, and put some fresh oil on it. And golly, do I got sniffles. Ooh, look at all this Loctite. It is a Loctite Central, man. Oh, look at that. One little T6. Recessed into the G10. It's got three square sides and then one screw. Look at that. Four square sides. I mean, I don't think that four side is going to hold that in there. But the three square sides, for sure. I mean, as long as that screw's tight, that should be fine. Yeah, lots of relief milling in the scales. Lots of Loctite debris. Whew. Going to need to pull this screw. I wonder if that pocket clip... now nah, it's not reversible. Oh, man. I was out doing yard work. My hands are dirty and my nose is runny. Uh, the weeds were starting to grow taller than the house, so I had to get after them. Yeah, so it's not bead blasted. And it's because they're they're recessed. No reason to put work into those edges. The other one is more of a shadow box. And so all those edges are bead blasted to match that finish. It's pretty dirty in here. It's quite a bit of debris. Man, I like my Kubis, boy. I, I mean, my collection of them isn't near to Tucson level. But I, I am, I am gathering them unto myself. That's for sure, man. Wow. But I dig them. I dig them, and I look. I'm looking for the older ones too. You know, I've I've had my eye out on some of the older ones, 
and I'm sourcing them. So I've got some of those coming, but uh, mostly I took advantage of the sale last year at White Mountain Knives. I mean, 25% off and then another 10 um, with my discount code. So, I mean, in essence, 35% off. And they're already discounted. Like when you go to the site, they're priced at the same price that you would find them at other retailers, you know, or eBay sellers. And same thing with them. If you go to, or if you went to uh, White Mountain Knives uh, listing on a eBay auction, an active auction, they would have the same price. Let's say this knife would be running for $99 retail and so the other kube sellers the retailers that carry them and there's a few um they would also be listed at 99 dollars. but if you went to and 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 that's their discounted price everybody's got their discounted price up on ebay you know i think the retail price on this knife is like 125 well, everybody would have it marked down to like $99. Well, if you go to the White Mountain Knife site, then you could get 35% off of that, which would bring the price of a $100 knife down to like $65. And so, I mean, that's where most of my Kubi collection came from. I mean, not all of it, because I had some prior to that sale, but... I mean, I just, I, I couldn't pass them up. And it's not just because they're a good value, which they are. But, I mean, as knives go, they're pretty spectacular. I mean, like this one. Uh, here again, it's nothing amazing. It's a steel liner, digital camo G10. Uh, what am I missing here? Interesting. I'm kind of confused on what actually... Oh, okay. It's just this, and then there's two screws. I was thinking that there was uh, something else that went in there, but there is not. Ooh, I'm fumbling with this. This was the non, yeah, the non pocket clip side. It's kind of cool. Matches the pivot a little bit, I guess. Oh, sniffles. I think I'll finish that with this screw in the other side. Uh, where'd it go? That little pin. There it is. Just fumbling, man. Oh, come on. Nothing wants to fit right. Nothing wants to stay in place, that's for sure. All right, let me wipe these scales down. Try to keep them shiny on the inside without a bunch of fingerprints on them. There we go. Whew, man. But yeah, that's where most of my Kubi collection came from. Was that sale over the summer. I say over the summer, but it was over the summer, over the whole fall. I mean, it just kept going and going and going. And then out of the blue, it ended. I think March. Let me think. Yeah, March. Yeah, just boom. It was gone. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oof. I, I will say that I don't think there was many left that I wanted.
Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to think if it's still going. Because it may be still going. It's just, I know that there was a couple of newer models that were coming that I couldn't get the discount on. And the, the response was that they weren't given, White Mountain Knives didn't have the same pricing on the new models that they had on them old ones that are discounted. So it may still be running. I'll verify that by the end of the video. Can you still get 25% off plus the 10? Because if you can, whew. I'll make sure everything's tight because golly, this thing runs good. Yeah, that wasn't tight. I mean, let's talk about this action. I wonder if I can fail it. Yeah, I can fail it. But barely. I mean, just the slightest little whoop, and it's out there. Drop shut. Get it past that detent. And it'll take itself home. I wonder if I can get it thumb flick. Yeah. Spidey flick. Yep. The fuller's not sharp, but the detent and the blade run so well that it's not an issue. Uh, it's it's A-level action. 100%. Yeah. I mean, maybe I just needed to run it a little bit. I mean, it didn't make it. Yeah, I was just shy. The detent ball hung up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so A action, no doubt. That flipper whew, works good. Uh, it's slightly higher than the center of that pivot, but it's got good jimping on it and really nice, uh, confident perch. Can light switch it compress it i mean it's really good grab it with the thumb yeah excellent action what about ergonomics so there's not so confident confident very confident and this knife goes whoop right up to the very confident level so locked in here good jimping on the spine great perch for the thumb and i mean this cut out here it's got jimping on the lock bar and on the back of the flipper tab. And so this index finger is so tucked in there. The the grip of this, just the design, the, the way that it lays, I am so in control of this knife. The grip on this is excellent. Excellent, very confident grip. Pretty sure this reverse grip is going to be the same. I can cap that with the thumb. Very confident grip here. And not so much here. Wow. Excellent ergonomics. Let's check that pocket clip. I already know. Yeah, I've seen this clip a few times. A day or two. Gets over the thick stuff and whoop. It did catch the head of that screw on the thick stuff. Sure enough. But wow, is that tight. You can hear it coming out of there. Whoop. Yeah, very good. There it goes. All the way on the thin stuff. Very deep carry, just a pocket clip. And that one circle with that, I don't know, it's kind of Art Deco looking. I, it looks good. I like it. Yeah, it's definitely a drier clip. Take a tumble on the ground, stumbling around, and then decide, hey, I better get my knife out. It's going to be right where I left it. I mean, excellent pocket clip. Let's check it for safety. Yeah, no blade contact through the scales in the back. The tip is guarded. Right when I would make contact with that tip, there's a little hump up there. And so it's protected in there. So the clip is good. The tip is good. And I'm confident putting it in the pocket that I won't make random contact with that blade and cut myself. Wonderful. wonder how sharp it is. 
yeah ridiculously sharp oh uh, let's check that that tanto blade how about it yeah maybe even sharper it's a shredder wonderful excellent blade uh, price and availability okay so it is still available for 25% off however this model with the s30v is not available it comes with aus 10 yeah so with aus 10 it's like $52 you can get it in d2 for $45 and the 25% off still goes. Uh, I say 25% off, but I think it's like 32% because you actually have to enter the code, the coupon code KUBI. And when you enter it, it gives you like 32% off. Whereas um, before you could enter the DM10 code and get 10% off and it was 25% off just putting it in the cart. So it was 35. Well, what they've done now is, is when you put the code Kube in, you get like 32 or 33% off because you're not going to be able to enter the code DM10. So it's still a great deal. I mean, if you think about it, 30% off of this knife in house 10, it's like $52. Well, I mean, that's probably seventeen dollars off. So, I mean, that puts it that puts it down to like thirty bucks, I think, something like that. I mean, pretty close, right? Come on, yeah. And this is a man. This is a great little work knife, self defense knife, EDC knife. It's got a choke up spot here too, if you wanted to get up in there. I'm not a big choke up fan, but it's pretty comfy right there. Yeah. But, I mean, this back here, whoo, that's a good one. So, anyways, White Mountain Knife still has that, still has the discount. It's not 25%. It's like 30%. But you got to put it in the cart and use the coupon code of Kube. And uh, uh, I think that works. Now that I remember, it works on almost all the models except, like, the brand new models. There's a skinny, long skinny knife. And I was going to get one. But you can't get the discount on that knife. They, their pricing changed. So, anyways, the Kubi Carve. Um, yeah, check it out. I appreciate y'all watching.